What's going on YouTube? As you can see, before your eyes, I made a trip out to Summit Racing um, to give you an update on um, my progress on my 1976 Chevy Impala and what I need to do to make the engine, my 350 engine, go faster. Um, I had looked into the cams that I was um, trying to choose from and I checked out the Lunati, I checked out um, Summit brand cams again which is the same cam that's in the car now but after doing my research and review I went with the comp cam and judging off of just different people giving me reviews and, and their take on it and what it's done for their cars um, I think the comp cam is what I'm looking for. The sound and the performance um, is yet to be determined. I'm about, I'm getting, I'm closing in on the date to take my car to the mechanic, um, which will probably be um, either next week or week after next. But um, due to COVID and all that kind of stuff, it's kind of, kind of, kind of hard to get on everybody's schedule. Um, but we got to keep, keep going because it's. It's an uphill battle, especially um, touching on the protests and all that stuff too. But um, other than that, um, yeah, I went with the comp cam. Um, it's the, the comp cam and lifter kit, and it's the uh, the 279. Um, and this thing is supposed to be hitting. This thing is supposed to be hitting, sounding good, high energy and high tech hydraulic lifters. Um, and I'm just gonna give you just a little bit of um, what this uh, this uh, kit is uh, supposed to be, you know, uh, sp supposed to give us uh, performance-wise and some of the specs and all that good stuff. Um, uh, well, this is mostly just the instruction guide. Most guys, uh, most mechanics, I already know. Uh, what they need to do to make this uh, to make these uh, make this cam and lift the kit do what it's supposed to do but this is basically just uh, a thank you and some of the instructions that's on it um, but yeah uh, it these are these are um, flat uh, this is a uh, flat tap of cam uh, that requires uh, dual valve springs the inner springs must be removed during the break-in also we do not recommend uh, use of uh, synthetic motor oils during the process. Uh, so the comp cam recommends uh, using part uh, number 1590, uh, 10W30, or uh, number 1591, 15 weight 50. Um, the engine break-in oil, don't forget to get that because um, the Rotella used to have a zinc in it, but now they sell the um give me one second i'll go get you what they gave me this is the break-in um oil that was sold to me so don't forget to get that because like i said they said that that they don't sell it anymore uh, in the Rotella, the zinc and the break-in and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you get the break-in also when you get ready to change your cam. Um, but this is, man, it's, it's, it's going to be, uh, I'm, I'm like a kid in a candy store. Because I can't wait to, you know, see how it sounds and how it performs. I plan on going and taking it to a tune shop or somebody, uh, the same guy may tune it for me. But um, all of that, all that video is coming. All that content's coming. It's just exciting, you know, with having family, having um, work, and, you know, all the other issues. As a man, I feel like you should be able to just, you know, have an outlet. And cars, for us men, and some women too, it's just like, man, nothing in the world can touch what we are doing. Nothing can get in the way of that. And that's what, that's what life is all about, you know, finding your happy. And if you're with somebody, with your wife or with your girlfriend, and they don't accept it, you better reevaluate some things because you can't lose who you are. You know, if you love cars, 
if you love to build cars if you love to pick cars together you know don't worry about your process just worry about the outcome you know the outcome or or, or, or what your long-term goal is uh, you might not have the money right now but you got the car uh, a guy told me uh, years ago he was like no matter how broke or how bad you are off never sell your car because you know bad things and bad situations don't always last if you if you are a driven and determined person you're gonna do all you can to bounce back so you know with him telling me that it's just it's just been amazing just to um, to see the process and I've had my car for I know close to 10 years and I would expect by now if I would have just stayed focused I had this car finished but you know it's just a process with life I mean you know everybody's not millionaires and everybody don't have a whole bunch of money but uh you know you just can't lose sight of that big vision and I do plan on getting other cars down the road and try to bring them back to life I have a son now and I wanted to I want him to see that my dad you know he really had a passion for cars my dad really um, loved to bring cars back to life and that's what I did when growing up as a kid you know I, I saw my grandfather have a lot of old cars in the yard and I, I asked my grandfather I said hey granddaddy um, you think you can let me have this car one day when I grow up he said nah <laughs> he said it's okay. nah it's okay I, I'll, buy your own, I'll buy your own car you know just him doing that and he lived up to and did what he said he was going to do but you know one of my first mint condition cars and great condition cars was a 1982 Chevy Impala that was actually uh I'm like yeah it was also a Impala a Caprice and I end up telling myself I said man I want me an older Caprice so fast forward about 10 15 years later I end up getting the car I got now 1976 Chevy Impala so you know these cars was you know a classic Americana so you know we as people that's what the cars were you know back in the days very authentic um, just uh, heavy-duty cars and, and and just cars that were not hard to um, um, break meaning by that is like the body and the frames and all that kind of stuff before all these laws and stuff passed about airbags and safety which is understandable you know, you got a big old hunk of metal, man. You know, you can really hurt a lot of people. But at the same time, you can't go away from it. But um, I know I'm rambling a little bit, but I'm just, you know, touching on what the cars and things like that mean to me and why I'm so passionate about it. But inside of this kit, it comes with um, the, uh, of course, the cam. Um, let me pull this out of here real quick. Cam. And oh, here's the specs. But yeah, I'm gonna pull everything out. But you know, it's wrapped pretty neatly, nice. But uh, the valve adjustments is 0.479 uh, to the intake. Uh, the duration of the tappet lift is 279. So the valve timing also is a uh, 0.006. Um, INT is 36. The E8 EX. H, I'm guessing that's the exhaust 76. Um, uh, it just has everything broken down in here that you possibly need uh, for your cam and all that good stuff. And it's man, um, like I said, man, just just like a kid in a candy store, man. You know, it's it's amazing just to 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 be able to um, to to be going on this journey and try to get this car where it needs to be. Because, like I said the engine is the brains of the operation and if you um, get that together the paint and the cosmetics and all that kind of stuff like that that'll come that'll come but you don't want to have a nice looking car a car that's just catching all the attention and it's you got the hood up every five minutes so you see my dad as a kid he had a, a 1985 Nova that he always worked on you know he had Kragers on it um, needed paint and all that kind of stuff but I don't think my dad was to it into cars like I am to cars so you know it's just you know try to take it to a next level but now most older cars man and 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 good great condition uh, mint condition um, thirty forty thousand dollars those same cars that my grandfather and your grandfathers and 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 
family members and stuff still had. But when you start to have a family, you kind of put those cars on the back burner. You know, you got your shows like Overhaul and uh, Counting Cars. And then we know it's reality TV and all that kind of stuff. But it's also showing that these are people that one day had in their mind that I was going to fix this car. I was going to get this car back. But due to family and other life uh, circumstances that's not always the case when we want to so you know I'm gonna do all I can to bring this baby back to life because that was my friend who I also look look at like a father figure to me Mr. Dunn's wish when he sold the car to me he, he said make sure you fix the car fix the car and I just never lost sight of that so along this journey I'm just bringing y'all with me so y'all can see the beginning, the middle, the end, the ugly, the bad, you know, and it's not easy, you know what I mean? So just trying to get it all together and, and make it happen. So that's that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Um, so yeah, um, I, didn't, I know I didn't go into debt, but let me show you one more, uh, the other part that comes with it. These are the lifters that comes with it. Um, and... Just go to Summit, you know, Summit Racing or online, but I prefer, I would go somewhere like Summit, uh, unless you just know, uh, go, you know, you're a mechanic and you know exactly what to get. But most people who are trying to get into the car game, we don't know, uh, we don't know which way to go. So, you know, uh, yeah, but uh, stay tuned. I'm going to continue to, um, continue to um, just give you progress and updates on where I am with the build and where I am with the car but yeah stay tuned and it's gonna be amazing once we see the finished product of this thing y'all stay tuned yes sir